Hello everyone, I'm Fletch and today I'll be your tour guide. Uh, I'm actually leaving the office at the moment in the uh, car park and I'm going to make my way out. As you all know, uh, it's uh, a couple of days before Christmas and I thought why don't I be a tour guide today and uh, show you a little another part of Singapore. I'm on the road out of my car park and uh, on the way towards Orchard Road. Now, if you had watched my previous video on uh, retail therapy, I mentioned about um, Sarangan Road and all the festivities that every year for the different festivities that they have in Singapore, what they'll do is they'll do a little light up. In the case of that particular festivity, uh, they lit up a little India uh, because that's basically a Hindu or Indian uh, festivity or religious event. And then of course, if it was uh, the special time for the Muslims, then they would be doing one at a place called Gelang. And since we are so close to Christmas, traditionally every year, um, they would do a light up of a place called Orchard Road. This is where we are going today. Now Orchard Road is basically uh, the, the shopping district or the shopping belt of Singapore. And that's where you have all the various uh, shopping centers and stuff like that. So because of the festive season and obviously because of Christmas shopping, right? They would light up the entire street. So I'll be taking you down that road. It's not a very long one. Uh, I'll go to the start of it and try to get as much of it as possible. Uh, and it's, it, you can't compare it to say uh, the place in Chicago where you have like three or four miles of shopping districts. And I know in California you have big malls and stuff like that. But here, because of the lack of space, they have a lot of malls, but they're all pretty, they're like three or four stories tall and pretty, and, and the covering of bigger space. And that entire stretch is just basically shopping in hotels. So, what's happening is that they will light the entire road, call Orchard Road, for it. And because it's a one way, I have to go round the back end of it and then head towards uh, Orchard Road itself. And hopefully, I'll be able to show you uh, the lights around it. And, and, and Singapore, as you know, is a very small island. Um, even though over the years they tried to uh, decentralize stuff, but, unfor but fortunately, unfortunately, uh, Orchard Road still remains the center of, of attraction. Uh, you still can get all your luxury goods there, all the, the stuff that you need or would like to get. I wouldn't say need. You know, with these days with online shopping and everything else, you could get it there. I think it's because of the uh, the silly season, right? Uh, although it's still uh, in the middle of the the big sea, I won't say what. Um, and there's still restrictions on, on, on how many people could go and, and stuff like that. But it seems that because it's the silly season, nobody really seems to care. And there's always a lot of people, as you can see, uh, from the people crossing the street here. You know, how, how busy it can be. Not here, though. Uh, but as we get into Orchard Road, 
you'll probably get to see a little bit more. So right now here is uh, the Singapore Management University. Nice little place on the left hand side. Uh, heading off to a little tunnel. Not really going to be talking much about motorcycles today. Uh, more about, you know, like I said, being a tour guide and showing you a little bit more of Singapore. I think uh, a few few of uh, the subscribers did mention that it would be nice to be able to see um, a little bit more of Singapore. Um, you know, to the left there is another office building and shopping center but not really very uh, popular one. Uh, if you can look on the left here, there's even a pub. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there seems to be a fairly fair amount of people here as well. <laughs> you know, and it's, what, Tuesday here when I'm recording this video. And yet, it looks like, um, you know, like it's normal times. Interesting, right? Well, this is still the back, uh, well, this is the the road on the other side of Orchard Road. Uh, this place on the right is one of the major shopping centers, which we probably see when we go down it. Uh, it used to be a hotel, and they've completely converted it. In fact, in the old days, this particular place uh, was... As I was saying, in the old days, that particular place uh, used to have some nice discos and stuff. Uh, when I say old days, I mean the 80s. Oh, oh. Yeah, obviously, nobody seems to care about uh, who goes where. And I obviously have to continue to lane split. I nearly got killed by a, tra by a taxi driver just now uh, when the lights were clearly in my favour it's a good thing I didn't speed up a few moments later oh thank you I think everybody's going downtown to uh, the main part of Orchard Road that's why the traffic was so bad so looking at the traffic you would think that you know there is, you would think that maybe everything is back to normal, but not so, not so indeed. Right hand side is a place called Wheelock Place. Um, it, one, the reason, one of the places that I love to go is this particular place because uh, the bottom half and prop, if I remember correctly, the second floor was borders the bookshop you know I really miss the hardcovers and everything else uh, sad that it's all gone technology I, su I suppose with all the digital books and blah 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 but you know case era sera but uh, it's still a shopping center it still has some places to go to I know they even I also come here because they also have uh, an Apple shop or well, at least one of the distributors that I would go to we normally has good deals and some good prices as well but unfortunately they have because of the times have shut down so I think that's sad I don't know if you can see it but across the street on the left hand side there is a nice looks like an ultra I'm not sure check it in a minute yes hope I get a good view of all the lights because it really is very beautiful I mean every year when they light it up Christmas you really get the Christmas spirit although we know that because the way things are now um, that the, you know, people tend not to shop as much as it used to. It used to be horrendous. You know, um, it used to be when Christmas period, or at least during Christmas, shopping along Orchard Road. There we go. Take a look at that. How beautiful that is, right? Uh, 
that this is the way it's going to be right across. The uh, hotel on my right. Look at those lights, beautiful. As I mentioned, there's a couple of hotels left and right, the two major hotels. That's why I say you see a lot of hotels and shopping centers across this entire stretch. Imagine this is if it was that place in Serangoon Road in my other video called Retail Therapy. It would be lit up like this. Beautiful. Now you get a chance to see all the lights across and all the decorations from uh, various uh, shopping centers. And inside another shopping center. Now, I'm going to have the lane split just to show you this place. Oh, I don't have the lane split. Beautiful. Look at that. And the lights are proudly sponsored by Hitachi. <laughs> On the right hand side is a place called Ion. Beautiful lights, look at that. And of course all the big names, YSL, Tiffany & Company, Cartier, Dolce & Gabbana. But, okay, this is a premium shopping center. Obviously, they have all the big expensive brands. Um, but they also have the regular stuff as well. So, you know, we can't be just exclusive to all the rich guys, right? Can't be. Left hand side is the uh, Marriott uh, Hotel. Also, uh, well, done up somberly, not as opposed to uh, this place. I wish I had a drone, but Orchard Road is a no fly zone, unfortunately. Okay, Sera, Sera, right? I, I don't know when this started. I probably put up a description somewhere when this first started, but you know, it's always been a very big hit. And before the, the big C, um, what happens is they will close up this entire road and uh, they'll have a big, all the disc jockeys on the sides and everything else and they have a big party. All the cars are not allowed on this road for that one particular day, New Year's Eve included. So everybody has a big party. Look at those lights on the right hand side. Look at those lights coming down the road. Wow. All the major shopping centers. Right hand side is a place called Takashimaya. On the left hand side, Far East Plaza. We're coming up to um, one of the major hotels on the left hand side, and as well as uh, a shopping center called Paragon. And same thing, if you can, if you can see, I'll swing it, swing it around. That it's got Prada and, and stuff that I can't pronounce. Uh, Ferragamo and all the big brands and everything else. Shopper's paradise, so to speak. On the left hand side is, the, is another hotel. Right hand side as well. Two hotels facing each other. Amazing, right? But I mean, in the heydays, Orchard Road was a place to be as a tourist and you know, great to be able to stay here. Because that means that not only do you get a hotel room to stay in, but you're also right smack in the middle of the shopping belt. Uh, obviously with currency exchange and everything else, Singapore would still be relatively cheap. Uh, don't buy electronics here, it's not that cheap. But because of uh, currency exchange and everything else, uh, you do gain a little bit. Uh, certain things definitely. Um, maybe not so much electronics. It used to be in the old days, yes, but you know nowadays with all the big retailers and Apple's uh, retail suggested price, no matter where you go to, it's going to be the same price because Apple's going to enforce it so that you don't, you know, have to pay less than what you should because then it kind of eats into the market. On the left hand side is a conservancy building called the Center Point and the Puranakan place. The Puranakan place is basically, um, well, first of all, this is a colonial building, as you can see, uh, hopefully you can see in Resume Park where I'll point it out. Um, it is called the Puranakan place because uh, Puranakan comes from uh, the, the type of people 
from a place in Malaysia called Malacca. Basically, when uh, the, the Portuguese and the Dutch, and after that, uh, the English, uh, when they established ports, they of course found a beautiful Chinese lass and got married, and they also adopted some, uh, some of the local customs on the left hand side there is center point they adopted some of the local customs uh, and, and and even their cuisine was um, well i wouldn't say mimic but they 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 they, uh, they adapted the, those local cuisines to their form right so basically they're chinese but they speak malay which is the local language in malaysia and um they also adopt the sound of their customs. So we'll be surprised to see a Chinese person who is called a Peranaka that speaks a language other than Chinese. And hence Peranaka. OG, the shopping center next on the left hand side, look at that. Body colors and light. And this chap can't decide where he wants to go. Look at those lights. Beautiful. So this is going to be on all the way to New Year's. And uh, then they'll probably swap it out for Chinese New Year. And then after Chinatown then will be lit up. Hopefully I'll have the opportunity to ride through Chinatown and show you something similar. Obviously it'll be uh, the Chinese theme, right? Dragons and such and whatever the, the horoscope is for next year. Well, basically we're coming to the end of my little tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, beautiful lights and hopefully I can adjust the video to a point where you can see all these lights and, and show you the sights. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I certainly hope that you, you liked it. Uh, if you haven't yet, I hope you do put a thumbs up and a like. And of course, if you haven't yet, please click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell to let you know when the next video is coming out. Once again, thank you very much for watching. My name is Fletch. I'd like to wish everyone out there a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.